Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing a bit more of a casual video today. I'm here in my office slash studio, hence why there's all of this. This is like, oh, behind the scenes. But today, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for an updated shelf tour, which it's what we're here for today, but it's going to be really chill. I'm going to be hand holding the camera, showing you all the nooks and crannies of my shelves and I can get stuff out a little bit rather than using all of these kind of cameras. So it's going to be you and me, just you and me. And we're going to go through the shelves. I'll tell you as much detail as possible where things are from. It's going to be in no particular order. So here I am in front of the shelves. I think they're a lot bigger than some of you may think because we only tend to shoot from about here so you tend to only see this portion of the shelves but they do extend quite a bit further so if you want to see what is on my shelves of dreams keep on watching and yeah all right uh i forgot my intro so yeah subscribe do the magical thing and let's go okay then so let's start off with perhaps one of my favourite shelves, which is my Weasley Wizards Wheezy shelf. So this is all surrounding the twins <laughs> joke shop. And there's a few new bits and pieces on here. I'm going to start with what's in the middle. These pieces are from Noble Collection. We've got the Puking Pastels Girl. We've got Bubble Boy. Uh, we've got a potion, which I believe is from a wizarding trunk. I've actually got a pin collection back there. And yeah, we've got all of the things. We've got little pygmy puffs in their cages. Also got the key to their shop, which is a LitJoy Crate exclusive. We've got a staff little badge in case we want to go and work there, which is pretty cool. This is a new piece to this shelf, which is an extendable ear. I just love the packaging of it. We've got all these kind of posters around the back as well kind of catalogue if you want to go shopping there. Um, we've got a Love Potion candle, which I think was from Litjoy, and it's one of the most beautiful smelling candles ever. Got some wizard cards, some you know poo. And here, a lot of people always ask what this is. So this is what they first imagined a Niffler to look like. So this is a Niffler before Fantastic Beasts came around. And yeah, that's what they used to look like. So there's a fun little fact for you. So there's my Wheezy's 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 shelf um let's move on i'm gonna do bookcase by bookcase so this is kind of a bit of a mishmash of <laughs> things it was originally my quidditch slash ronald weasley shelf but it's kind of turned in to quite a lot of different things um this is new to this shelf this is a ford anglia replica which my friends katie and jeff bought for me because i have one of these in my garage which we're doing up and oh i just love 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 it it came with a little harry figure as well which is quite amusing uh, what else have we got? I've got some miscellaneous plants on here. So we've got a dirigible plum plant, which is super cute from a subscription box. We've got a mandrake, which is from Noble Collection, and you can pull him out of his little pot. <laughs> um, next to that, I've got a Rita Skeeter beetle in a pot, which is from a subscription box. We've got some howlers up there. We have got some Quidditch goggles. A lot of people mistake these to being Hagrid's goggles, but they're not. They are Quidditch goggles, uh, hence why it's above the Quidditch. This is um, <laughs> the Quidditch uh, trunk. So these do come out. Uh, the only one that doesn't is the Golden Snitch over here. We've got the key to the burrow right there, which is from Litjoy. We've got this that's falling over. So we've got quite a collection of Potter stinks and support Cedric badges going on there and some more Quidditch badges over there. Um, and the teaspoon, which says Ron's Emotional Range, which I always find amusing. And then we've got some golden snitches. This one is from Pottery Barn Teen. Sadly, you can't order from Pottery Barn Teen in the UK anymore, which breaks my heart. Um, we've got the Chudley Cannons flag back there, which is from uh, one of my first subscription boxes. And we've got the Mimbulous Mimbletonia, which a lot of you guys will recognize. I know a lot of you have this. It's one of my favorite things that I think I've ever made. <laughs> Um, then we've got a camp campsite map which opens up there you go you've got the full map if you want to go 
to the Quidditch Stadium. So that just lives at the back there. So there we have it. That's the Quidditch Ronald Weasley slash plant. So it's a mishmash shelf. <laughs> Let's move on to the next shelf, which is above. This is another random shelf. This is kind of like History of Hogwarts kind of... I don't know. It, it started as Hogwarts a history shelf. So we've got um, a full replica of this book. Um, this is made by and gifted by my friend Jack. I will show you the book. It's a full. It's a full book. Are you going to focus? Yeah, you are. So yeah, it's absolutely go Oh, look at that foiling! Look at that foiling! Stunning. Um, behind there, I've got all of these Hogwarts library cards, which have all of the signatures and check-ins from all the Hogwarts students which is kind of cool and then on Hogwarts history uh, just lives <laughs> lives moaning myrtle a lego version we have got all of the letters um, which were held captive by Dobby and we've got like a pile of those from his summer so he didn't get any of his letters but I've got them there uh, we've got a little monster book of monsters this is new to the shelves this is actually a notebook from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. And then a few new additions that you won't have seen on my shelves yet are uh, we've got the Remember All, which this one is made by Litjoy Crate. Everyone was like, oh my god, how'd you get it to spin? I literally just span it like that in a TikTok. Um, but yeah, I've also got a skeletal candle holder in between there. Um, this is one of my favourite books. This is kind of new, it's about a year old. It's one of the illustrated editions by Mina Lima. They're the graphic designers from um, Harry Potter and the Entire Wizarding World. But they did, uh, yeah, an illustrated edition and it's absolutely beautiful. If I just flick through some of the pages. Oh, it's got some interactive pages and things in there, like 3D things absolutely stunning they're coming out with their second edition for the chamber of secrets in a month or so i believe so that's exciting we just move this book <laughs> we've got a portrait of dumbledore we've got a postcard for a history of magic we've got the <laughs> the wardrobe from the prisoner of azkaban and yeah we've got a lego a little lego piece down there as well we've got a chess piece oh there's me hello uh, yep, this is a chess piece which was from one of my old subscription boxes. Same with the Remember All. Love those pieces, they mean a lot to me, so they're there. Uh, and then we've got the Mirror of Erised, of course. This was from Primark. I don't think they sell these anymore. They've, tend to, they've stopped doing a lot of their Potter stuff. But So this is that shelf. Just quite like it. It's got a golden red theme, which is quite nice. Next up is a shelf that many of you probably haven't seen that much. I don't see it that much. It's one of my top shelves, so I always forget that it's up here. But it's actually one of my favourites just because it's very aesthetically pleasing. This is kind of like, <laughs> it's a shrine to Fantastic Beasts and Newt Scamander's book. So obviously it was sold in Flourish and Blots. So we've got all the posters for it being sold. We've got loads of kind of ink wells as well as loads of quills so that he could do his writing. I've got Newt Scamander's Ministry of Magic identity card. How gorgeous is this? Absolutely stunning. Um, and then we've got a magazine as well which is Spellbound which has the <laughs> The iconic photo where everyone got confused about who was dating who. Um, so yeah, I have that. I've also obviously got Rita Skeeter's quill up here. I just thought it made sense to put it with the rest of the quills. Um, but I love this shelf. I'm, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So we've done the top four shelves of this bookcase. Let's move down a little bit. We've got one of my wand collections. So this is my Fantastic Beasts wand collection. Starts all the way over there with Newt and then Queenie. Seraphina Pickery, and yeah, it's a Theseus. <laughs> we have many ones. I think one of my favourites from this collection is Nicholas Flamel's wand at the end. I was lucky enough to be gifted that one when I went to New York for some promo for Fantastic Beasts. And yeah, so that's a very special wand to me on this shelf. Let's move down. Um, <laughs> you're gonna judge me. This is like my pink ministry slash ombridge shelf. I know it's a bit weird to 
have like a shrine to her but I just loved the colours because you don't really see these colours that much in Harry Potter so obviously I've got all the kitten plates at the back they're a set there's one down here as well um they came I think they're official I think they came from maybe a loot crate I've also got this on here this is a random little clock that I got from Edinburgh many moons ago but got it from one of the magical shops on a street that looks like Diagon Alley there <laughs> Um, yeah, we've got Mudbloods and the Danger They Pose. That's a full magazine, which I believe is by Wizardry Workshop, Danny. Uh, we've got a Ministry Identity card there, which is quite cool. That's Mafalda Hopcourt, Hop, well, Hopkirk, my bad. Um, got some visitor passes, got lots of coins. Um, this is cute. I think my friend Gary bought me this actually it's the it's the kitten brooch that Umbridge wears you can see her wearing this at the studio tour on her costume uh speaking of the studio tour this kitten plate and cup the cup and saucer is official that's also from the studio tour I don't think you can get these anymore maybe you can in America but I've not seen them sold in England for a very long time um got a interdepartmental memo which is here which I made myself got a little book that you can make them just really like those um this is not related or on theme this is from a recent subscription box which is Madame Puddyfoot's tea shop and it's a, it's a china plate but just so it looked quite nice on here. Um, this is new um, so if you go to the photographic exhibition, the Harry Potter photographic exhibition in Covent Garden, if you haven't seen my interview by the way with Fred and George aka James and Oliver Phelps then go watch that but you can get your very own Ministry of Magic identity card. There is me <laughs> uh, I need to fill this out with a fancy quill and some ink but there's my own card so I was like yes it's perfect for this shelf uh, and then I've got a few pygmy puffs I've got a pink one I've got a purple one which also has some earmuffs uh, just in case there's any mandrakes lying around so there we have it it's a bit of a messy shelf but it's one that I quite enjoy looking at now below this shelf um <laughs> Let me show many people this shelf. This is just all of my vintage books. Um, they're purely props. They're all vintage. They're from a vintage shop. There's a few books in there that aren't. So these two are like wizardry cookbooks. And then I've got these. Um, these should probably be looked after a little bit better because they're so expensive. These are the deluxe editions of Harry Potter, the first and the second one. Um, I don't have, I stopped buying them because they were so pricey. I think they're about 150 pounds each and they're so big. So they're really, really ginormous to store. I've also got a wand collection, collector's edition there. So that's a book and I think there's a wand in there as well. Um, <laughs> I mean, this stuff's not that interesting. Uh, we've got The Enchanter, which is a quibbler kind of take uh, by Muggle Magic, well, Wizardry Workshop, Danny. So it's a full magazine, which looks like the quibbler, which I really enjoyed, so I kept that. Um, I've got a print from my friend Adam. Uh, we're hoping to do some photographs together at some point, but he's got a beautiful collection of photography over on his Instagram. I'll link him down below, go check him out. Um, I've also got some <laughs> pin seeking pins. This is one of their biggest pins that I've ever seen. It's Forks, the Phoenix. So that lives there. And last but not least, I've got my first ever piece of Harry Potter merch, which are these pins, which I got from Forbidden Planet. Uh, they've been very well loved. And they've got this box light, which needs a home in my future house. This is just bits and bobs that I don't really know where to put, but they kind of just ended up all together. They need homes, they need official homes. <laughs> Let's move over here onto one of my smaller shelves. Uh, this isn't magical, this is just storage. Uh, this is from one of my first DIYs that I did. Um, don't worry, I love Hufflepuffs, I just didn't buy enough yellow beads. Um, and obviously Gryffindor are in the lead. But yes, if you want to know how to make your very own Hogwarts house point counter, then go check out that video. Um, now, this is a special shelf. <laughs> I haven't really spoken about this before. So this is, a resin cast ice sculpture. There is a light hiding underneath. Um, this was the first and only of its kind. It's a prototype. It actually arrived broken, had to glue. You can actually see that some of it's broke. Um, 
this yeah it was a fo it was a prototype for one of my old subscription boxes that I was doing um, back in the day and it was just too expensive to make it just wouldn't have made sense to put into a subscription box but it's absolutely gorgeous I was like well at least I have it for my shelves now <laughs> it was just too hard to make as well like all of these had snapped off it wasn't quite perfected put it that way um, but we've got a few other pieces which were a success so we've got the Yule Ball pumpkin juice bottle which was from one of my crates same with the Yule Ball invitation stunning thank you Danny for your work on that um, then we've got this beautiful oh god I don't even remember what this is but it's like a crystal I got this from a shop called Punny Dukes near me and I thought it was icy and magical so it went on here we've got some invitations to Slughorn's Christmas party we've also got a wedding invitation as well for Bill and Fleur back there but yeah that's a bit of a simple shelf moving on up we've got kind of like a dark art shelf I don't really have too much dark art stuff so I've got basilisk which I've been telling myself I'm gonna repaint to look realistic someday I've got a knockoff Bellatrix dagger I will probably purchase the official one sometime um, we've got a Borkin and Burke's key to the, the shop which is by Litjoy go check them out obviously we've got Tom Riddle's diary this is the official one with metal corners got a Death Eater mask and then we've got the horn from the uh, Love Goods residence. So that's that. That's not dark artsy. I just thought it looked good on here. <laughs> uh, above that, we have got the golden egg from the Goblet of Fire. I'm still very sad that this doesn't open, but I feel as though a lot of you guys have seen this piece of merchandise many times. So let's move on. Oh, got to get up my stool. Okay, we've got the night bus shelf. Nothing has changed here. Got the talking head. Does do you still talk? Ten, nine, <laughs> eight, seven, six, five, four, he does. Three, three and a half, two, one and three quarters. One and three quarters. Yes. <laughs> um, so then I've got the night bus, which you may remember I built with my friend Vagard. Got a night bus money box. Got a night bus token just in case um, I get stranded <laughs> so that's pretty cool and then I've got a load of night bus tickets at the back there which are really nice and then on the top here is just a trunk what is in it I hear you ask I don't actually know probably some what's in there pop funkos <laughs> some special edition pop funkos live in the magical trunk okay so we've done over there let's move on to the middle of my shelving now this is my Gringotts shelf I've got some plans for this I've just found a beautiful replica of Gringotts which I'm gonna have here maybe have the dragon on top so that's probably gonna go over there I've got some chocolate coins do I ever eat them no they're very old <laughs> I've got a Gringotts gold bar um, so that's the actual prop replica you can buy chocolate ones of these as well but you know um, then there is <laughs> A Gringotts credit card, um, go check out that website if you would like your own, obviously it's just a joke, you can't actually use it, it's just a bit of fun, but they sent that to me a long time ago. Uh, I've got official replicas of the Gringotts coins, so you've got a sickle, a nut and a galleon. We have got the letter, which is top secret to the head goblin. Uh, I've got some keys, many, many keys up here. Lots of Gringotts coins, Gringotts flex, lots of money. <laughs> Uh, and then, oh, now this is special to me. This was the invitation to Gringotts when it opened at the studio tour. And it's absolutely beautiful. If you've never seen it, go visit. I love it. I was lucky enough to see this during it being built. So I saw them sorting out the chandeliers and putting all the tiles on the floor down. And yeah, so that's a bit of a memory piece for me. There's a bit of work to be done on this shelf but it's at the top so it does get forgotten about a little bit. <laughs> Let's go to somewhere a little bit sweeter. Welcome to my Honeyduke shelf. Uh, this hasn't really changed much either since you've last seen it. Um, we've got a chocolate frog. This is the plastic case so it's not the ones that are paper. It came with this chunky, chunky chocolatey boy in it and his <laughs> Yeah, he's made out of silicon. Love that. Uh, I've got a pin collection back here. 
This is really cute, but I loved the box that it came in. Those are all the Honey Duke pins. So I keep them nice and safe on my Honey Duke's shelf. So the, those go at the back. I've got some caramel sort of fudge. This is empty. Uh, I've got some peppermint toads, which is full and sealed. Um, didn't want to eat them, just wanted them as prop replicas. Got some Bertie Bob beans. Luna. This is kind of like Honey Dukes and a bit of Luna, just because I thought her aesthetic kind of matched everything. So we've got the Spectra Specs, Scratch and Sniff book. Got another Luna in her lion headdress. Uh, something that is new to this shelf is the Honey Dukes Keys by Lit Joy Crate. And these are desi designed by my good friend Amelia. Ah, oh, it just is so magical to have the keys to the shop. Love that. Uh, got some of the new butter beers, which you can get. This is designed by Mina Lima. Got some more sweets and bits and bobs behind there. I've got pumpkin juice, which I think came from a wizarding trunk. So yeah, that's a very, very nice, sweet and bright. It's probably one of the brightest shelves of the My Weasley's Wizard's Weasley shelf. Let's move on to this. Oh, I love the shelf. I love it. This is my Crimes of Grindelwald shelf. Uh, I know that not everyone loves the Fantastic Beasts films, but I love the aesthetic of the 1920s. And so I love this magazine. This is actually from the first one. This has a video player in there, so you can charge it via USB. These are quite rare now. If you can get your hands on one of these, well, you will enjoy it. So it's got the trailer for the film in there. Uh, this is the Blood Pact Pendant. I wore this to the premiere of The Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, I wore it not knowing what it was because I hadn't seen the film yet, but it went beautiful with my dress. <laughs> um, obviously, we've got the screenplay here. I love the cover of that. I've got um, a tiny little Blood Pact. Um, I've got the Paris postcard which is from a book. We've got the Nicholas Flamel Safe House address card, which Dumbledore gave to Newt. Um, this is probably one of my favorite things. This has been handmade by someone on Etsy and it's the little, it's the little thingy that um, Newt shakes to get the attention of the Zawu, like a big kitty cat, but it's, it's really cute. It's got a bell on the back and it's perfect. It's an identical replica and it's really, really well made. So I enjoy that. I am crushing its feathers a little bit, but never mind. Um, then I've got two wands. I've got Dumbledore's wand, which is here. That's his official, like original wand. And then obviously the Elder Wand, which was Gellert's. And then this beautiful book, which is the art of the Crimes of Grindelwald. I love the books that are all about the artwork. They're honestly stunning and definitely worth a little look at if you can give one a read sometime. So yeah, that's that. Let's move on to the Horcrux shelf. Okay, now not everything on here is a Horcrux, but for the most part it is. So in the middle, let's talk about my Pride and Joy. This was probably one of the biggest and earliest replicas that I bought. So when I started investing a little bit more, um, this was, I bought this from the tour and I was like, wow, I've bought the Ravenclaw diadem and it's so beautiful. Um, but speaking of the tour, I've also got these in here. These are from the Goblet of Fire. I've got all four of them. So we've got um, Cedric's, Fleur's, um, we've got Harry's and we have also got Victor Crumbs in there as well. You get given those at the tour sometimes by interactors if you're very lucky. We've got a Hufflepuff cup which I adore, very very nice, it's one of the Noble Collection ones. Um, oh, we've got some treats in here. These are Luna's earrings, I'm not sure what they're doing in there. I was going to say that there's a hole in the bottom of this cup so that you can't drink out of it, which is sad. I wanted to be bougie and drink my gin out of there. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, and then we've got some jewellery, got the golden egg, which does open but it's quite fragile. I've got one of my original time turners, so there's that one. And then I've got the Horcrux ring over here. And I've got the Slytherin locket also in their display cases. And then I've got a few bits and pieces which are kind of similar here. So this is a Slytherin locket. It's a knockoff version. And they've got this beautiful Slytherin locket which I adore. This is from Lit Joy Crate. It's 
Oh, I remember opening this like it was yesterday. Really, really pretty. Um, and it opens like an actual locket. And then we've got another ring and this as well, which is meant to be the stone of the ring. And obviously the crystal goblet as well, which is very nice. <laughs> so this is a shelf that you will likely recognise as this is, well, at least half of it. <laughs> you see some of this in my background of most of my videos. Um, this is probably another one of my favourite shelves. It's all about all the fantastic beasts that there are in the Wizarding World. Let's start over from this side. This is my gorgeous Niffler replica. This was handmade by a Russian artist called Honanim on Etsy and I love it. I love him very much. I love all of the jewels surrounding him. So we've got diamonds, all the Gringotts coins, got some in his little tummy pouch, got some jewellery from like the jewellery shop that he broke into. <laughs> also got a jar behind here, let me just move the alchemy, of Niffler treats which I did a little DIY of. We've got the map in the background. So yes we've got big Niffler boy but we've also got teeny Danny Niffler down there, um, which is super cute. The original screenplay, um, I forgot to mention all of these books on my shelves. So that one as well as that one and that one as well. Um, and I think that one, um, they're all signed by relevant people. <laughs> so these are all signed by Mina Lima because they just did all the artwork for the books, which is pretty cool. Um, love a signed book. We've got Cornish Pixie over there, Bow Truckle. Got a pesky pixie in here, which I have under a dome just to stop them causing mischief. Um, got some paper cuttings. I believe this was made by my friend Rodney and it's absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favourite paper replicas because it looks like it's just been taken straight out of the Daily Prophet. Um, I just think it's so cute. Like how adorable. And it's got the Appaloosa Puffskin advertisement in there as well. Um, so yeah, this is all Fantastic Beasts. And last but not least, I mean, hello, look at this Occamy. This is made by one of my favourite poseable beastie artists. And um, they are called Spelunker Art. I've got some more of their stuff to show you later on but this is an Occamy. These are pieces of art just bear that in mind if you want one and you go to shop because they are not the cheapest but boy are they beautifully made they're really high quality and of course I made him live in a teapot. <laughs> um, got a little tiny bird truckle up there, got a beer mat for giggle water and the witches live among us um, poster and another one of the art books just ah. Oh, I love it. I love all the beasties. They make me very happy. <laughs> okay, so moving on uh, is my original Harry Potter books. These are the first ones that I ever read. You can see how old they are by the colours of the pages. I don't read these ones anymore just because they are so old now. Like this must be over 20. In fact, it will say 1997. Good Lord. That's over, oh, how old am I? I don't know, but that's that's really old. Do the maths. <laughs> so yes, this is one of the OG Potter books. I believe they're bringing that cover back soon um, to celebrate the release, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, so the sun's got to these. The color has faded quite a lot on all of those. Um, so obviously I didn't want to read those anymore because I didn't want to damage them or anything. I bought a new set um, so that I could read these instead. So I kind of go between these. I mainly listen to the audio books these days, but I've got the physical copies here. Then got a Gryffindor version of the Chamber of Secrets. I used to have the first one, but I gave it to someone and I never got it back. Um, got some magical books made by my friend Jack, including Defense Against the Dark Arts, which is, would you believe, a full book? Like, would you believe it? Look at that. It's crazy. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then I also got a Harry Potter book in a different language, which was given to me by one of you guys. I just thought the cover was stunning. So that stayed in the collection. And then down here, we don't really talk about this. I don't really show it very often. This is kind of like my bits and bobs, potions, stuff that doesn't have a true home yet. Um, I love this chocolate frog. Um, oh look, here lies a free elf. I've got a quaffle. Um, yeah, lots of potions, some cauldrons, 
People think this is Hermione. This is actually designed by a company to be me, hence the time turner. <laughs> so that's me as a duck. Um, yeah, lots and lots of different potions and stuff. So that's that. Oh, we're nearly, we're, ne we're over halfway. Let's move over here. Okay, I'm gonna start at the top of this bookcase. This is my Cursed Child shelf. I know there's gonna be like, why have you dedicated a shelf? I love the theater piece of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Do I like the plot? No, I don't. But the theater piece is gorgeous. I've seen it twice, I saw it in New York. I've actually got my original tickets hidden inside of this book from what I remember. Um, let's have a little cheeky look. Yeah, so I've got my my tickets in here that's really cool so yeah those are my american ones and i've got some british ones as well so i've kept those i bought quite a lot of the ones from the cursed child because i really liked the aesthetic of them like look look at those i don't know if i can show you these properly but they're absolutely gorgeous they look really natural um i really liked them um and i also really liked this wand because it's actually got cherry stones in it. Fun little fact for you. Um, yeah, so those are those. Um, and then I've got the CD, which is signed by the one and only Imogen Heap. I love this woman so much. And when I first heard the music to The Cursed Child, genuinely think I cried. I went to a special viewing and I actually met her and saw her play some of the stuff for us and oh it was just a magical moment so that is a very special piece on my shelves i've got the the little booklets that you get when you go see i bought the special book thing back there but yeah that's just my kind of little shrine to the cursed child just because i really do love that play it makes me feel so happy but also it's just so sad like i cried every time <laughs> let's go back to the beginning shall we this is my <laughs> where it all started shelf this is like harry potter and the philosopher's stone but also hagrid <laughs> and their special relationship let me just get up a little bit so where it all started i've got the letter that invited harry to hogwarts got his glasses here now these are Hagrid's glasses. <laughs> I've also got lots of things like Hagrid's umbrella, little resin piece, his um, little glowy lantern. I've got Fang, got the Floss Stone. I love these little pictures that were from Lit Joy Crate of Hagrid and Harry. Lots of letters and Hogwarts Express tickets and a lovely piece of artwork of the train. Um, I've got the actual Philosopher's Stone in here. Um, and one of my lovely friends sent me um, the Philosopher's Stone to cover the Sorcerer's Stone. I haven't stuck it on yet, but I will. Um, and then I've got the train and happy birthday, Harry, a replica cake, which is super cute. But yeah, this is like a really nostalgic shelf because this is where it all started. And oh, I love it. it makes me happy. Moving on up, moving on up. We're moving on down, actually. These are just random books. We've got very vintage books. These are, I just liked the look of them. They looked really old and they're good for flat lays and Instagrams. Um, these are all different covers that have been designed by Wizardry Workshop Danny. Um, these are the American copies underneath of Harry Potter. So we've got one to seven. Uh, I've also got this gorgeous, oh, look at that. I've got a full replica of History of Magic. Um, which was gifted by my friend Jack and it is a full book you can fully read it oh beautiful beautiful oh something fell out of it <laughs> it's a picture of Bathilda Bagshot just what I always wanted um, you can go back in there uh, she is the author of the book so she lives in there let's pop this back um, and these are just all random books really so we've got this one we've got a fantastic beast journal these are both journals um as is this tales of Be beetle the bard uh, random vintage book little advanced potion making storage box and then some other little books as well um so that's those uh this shelf you will definitely be familiar with this is the potion shelf that lives behind me when i'm filming um what do I say? Like advanced potion making. I've shown this many times. Um, it's a full book. 
and it does say property of the half blood prince but you can read it it's absolutely gorgeous and oh sorry if you can hear loads of birds i have my window open it's really hot in here um but yeah these are all the potions i've got so many now a lot of people ask where are they all from 90 percent of them are from subscription boxes um this is from my own subscription box we've got some lit joy crate stuff in here we've got some wizardry wizarding trunk stuff in here we've also got some of my old diys in here there's my gillyweed also made amaltentia um this is one of my favorite things on here this is a candle from lit joy and oh oh it smells divine it's one of my favorite scents really really nice so yeah i've just collected things over the years and then i've got a skelly grow bottle there which is just a water bottle that you can buy lots of stuff got deluminator which is actually a perfume got felix felicis loads and loads of different things um just love collecting them i think it looks so i don't know i just think it looks so cool having so many like i'm a potions master <laughs> let's move on to the ones below so these are my harry potter ones so i've got fantastic beasts over there and then these are the potter ones um, i've also got the ones that i use at the beginning of all of my videos this is one of mine um made by brown and lobin this one is actually called phoenix uh he's recently made me a new wand which is stunning this is the new wand that Brian has made me. So you'll probably see this one a lot more often. How gorgeous is that? It looks like it's made out of ice. So pretty. So those are my personal ones down there. Next up, we've got a bit of a divination shelf going on. Lots of crystal balls, lots of, oh, this is one of my faves. You may notice this from a subscription box recently. This is a teacup with the grim in it. Oh, this is my favourite thing on the shelf, I think. Really, really nice. Got an old one from Primark as well. And a little magnifying glass. Got Hermione's bag. A little divination notebook. And so much stuff. But yeah, so that's a nice little divination tea leaf shelf. Down here, it's not too magical. This is just some of my books, so I won't bore you with those. But um, there are some lovely Harry Potter books on here. Mainly the big ones that are the illustrated versions or they're just too giant to store anywhere because harry potter have a lot of big books <laughs> but yeah love those i i need to take the time to actually read them and like devour them there's so much in these books especially page to screen they've got a new version of that that's white now but that's really really nice let's move on then to the final bit of the bookshelves this is just a little trunk <laughs> what is inside pins <laughs> Pins and backings for my pin collection. Those need to go onto my new pin board. But yeah, so there's that. Got some books which aren't aren't really Harry Potter, but they are kind of magical. We've got crystal Bibles and dreams, dream books and moon books, that kind of thing. We've got my golden snitch, which I just kind of took the bottom off so that we could light it on the shelves um, so that we could permanently have it on. Then we've got these books. These are probably some of my favourites because they're so interactive. There's so much stuff inside of these books. So The Case of Beasts and Film Wizardry, those two in particular, I definitely recommend having a little bit of a look at. Maybe The Crimes of Grindelwald, one as well. If you're wondering why I have two of this book and this book, it is because one of them is signed, one of them isn't, and there's so many pullouts in these that I use the other one to take the bits and pieces out of. <laughs> um, hello, Douglas. <laughs> this is Douglas, my Demi guys. I love him very much. He is fully poseable, absolutely beautiful. He is also made by the beautiful artist Spelunker Art. I will link them down below. Um, I yeah he's so great i just love that i post him like draw me like one of your french girls um but it's absolutely beautiful and you can pose him however you wish but he likes to get involved in the videos so yeah he lives there finally we've got some more books up here not really harry potter ones really we've got a couple in there i suppose these are um got some dark arts we've got a pop-up book which is pretty cool got quidditch through the ages a fantastic beast somewhere to find them 
um, and some other random little books there. And last, the finale of my shelves is the Slughorn Hourglass. This is my pride and joy. This is made out of actual glass and you can turn it around like so. Um, it won't tell you if your conversation is interesting or not or flowing well, but it's very pretty and yeah, noble collection. Gorgeous, love it. And I've got it up here so I don't smash it. <laughs> And that's it. Those are my shelves. I hope you enjoyed my little tour. Let me know in a comment down below what was your favourite shelf, what was your favourite thing, what you think I should add to my collection. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a magical thumbs up. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this video for a long time, so I really hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in my next video.